Good morning. Hope everybody's having a great Tuesday this morning. It's going to be a great day. Going to a team meeting for real estate office right now. And just heard these two stories the last 48 hours here. And it's been, uh, you know, I did a, I did a video on this, I guess, three or four years ago. But every now and then, you know, it pops up. But if you're working with a real estate agent, okay, stay with that real estate agent. Obviously, if they're helping you out, they're running around. A lot of times they have to drop what they're doing, um, you know, leave their family behind uh, to serve you and everything else. Then they get paid on commission, okay, on the time. They don't get paid on all the time they spend with you driving around and everything else. So when it comes time to look for a house and let's say you're driving with your spouse and, you know, just driving around, uh, and then you see a house there, don't call the listing agent, call the agent that you've been working with. Uh, this happened, I guess, to, to an agent last week, and then something else happened to another agent, and this goes for a builder. Um, if, you're, if you're looking, you know, driving around, you can't find a, a rebuilt, you know, can't find a, a stick-built home that's already done, uh, a resale house, and then you decide that, hey, you know, maybe it's a good time to build, which is, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Still use that real estate agent, okay? Uh, they can negotiate for you and you have to use one if you're trying to do do that by yourself You're gonna get your clock cleaned um, So and, and, you know, I understand that people think hey, you know, this is you know Sometimes real estate agents and sometimes mortgage people they're a commodity uh, It doesn't matter who I use in this and that's wrong because you know the, the good ones in the industry will stand out and they'll go above and beyond for you But they'll they'll make a lot of sacrifices for their family uh, and so forth in time over the weekend and so you know so don't just go if you're driving past the house just call the listing agent just start working with the listing agent um and so forth and, and you know some agents don't do a buyer's agreement and and so forth and that's fine uh, but that's no reason for you to you know waste their time and then go with somebody else to you know basically and then that, that real estate agent just lost all their commission so just understand that uh they work very hard they have a lot of things uh, that they're running around trying to juggle their schedules are all, all over the place Sometimes they work until 10 o'clock at night trying to negotiate a deal especially in this market So be respectful for that Don't just hop from one to the next to the next to the next and if you're looking for for a new bill um, You know the real estate agent can do all the research help you out with that and get you all the information Okay, it's just you know, just be aware of that be sensitive to that fact because they don't get paid unless it closes uh, and so forth. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. Same thing with mortgage people, by the way. If somebody's helping you, get you pre I mean, we had somebody uh, six months, I think, ago. We helped them with the credit. We did everything else. We spent a lot of money on them. We don't charge them for that. Uh, and then they, they decided to go somewhere else and, and so forth because a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a cousin, uh, something like that. So anyway, just be aware of that. Be sensitive to real estate agents that are working their tails off, especially in this market. If, you, if you're working with one and they're driving around and they're showing you properties and doing everything uh, that, they, that they should be doing, don't just hop to the next one or just call the listing sign or anything else. Um, you know, have respect for them and, and so forth. And the same thing, like I said, on the mortgage side, okay? Um, I'm sure uh, this had to be said, but um, hopefully that makes sense. So if you've got any questions, just let me know. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.